Hey, what's up, everybody? My name is Maurice London, and welcome to my first drum lesson. And before we start, I just want to say a big, big thank you to all of you for these lovely comments, feedbacks, answers, questions, whatever. I really, really appreciate it. And I will try my best to answer all your questions. Don't be afraid to ask me because I love doing this. And like I said before, thank you so much. And so let's jump in. In today's episode, I want to talk about my kick snare hi-hat video I did because many people ask me like, hey, what are you doing in this part? And what are you doing there? Can you explain that? Can you make a video? And that's the reason why I'm sitting behind my kit. And I think the best thing to start is I play a bit the groove for you, also the fizz, so you can see what's going on and what it's all about, okay? Let's do this. What I am basically doing are 16th note triplets. 16th note triplets sounds like this. One, two, three, four. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Slower. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four with the difference that I don't play them alternately. So my sticking in the video is something like this. Right, left, right, left, right, right. Left, right, left, right, left, left. Once again, right, left, right, left, right, right. Left, right, left, right, left, left. Here is your first warm-up exercise to get used to it. And what you have to do is, Use this sticking and try to play a backbeat on the two and on the four with the left hand on the snare, okay? And it sounds like this. One, two, three, four. Slower, three, four and and of course you can add the bass drum So if you have this, on to the next exercise. In this exercise, we play the same pattern. The right hand is on the hi-hat, but the left hand now goes on the snare. Try to play the backbeat from the beginning. So two and four are always loud, like this, OK? Because if you do this, you will immediately get the right feeling for the ghost notes. And trust me, the ghost notes are the most important part in that groove, okay? It sounds like this. One, two, three, four. Bass drum, three, four. Fast. 
faster. already the fifth and what I do now is I'm splitting all these 16 note triplets just with different accents for example the white hand is playing a lot an accent on the first triplet on the two and also on the first triplet on the four okay so it sounds like this three four one ta ta and ta ta, two ta ta and ta ta, three ta ta and ta ta, four ta ta and ta ta. All together, three, four. One ta ta and ta ta, two ta ta and ta ta, three ta ta and ta ta, four ta ta and ta ta, one ta ta and ta ta, two ta ta and ta ta, three ta ta and ta ta, four ta ta and ta ta. So now the left hand. And the left hand is doing a special thing because I don't want to play all the time like so. Okay? And that's the reason why I'm using a specific technique. I just play some accents with my left wrist like so. Important under the right hand. Okay? And the reason for this is as you get faster, it becomes harder to get your left hand up. Okay? So, like this, that's a good way to play relaxed and fast stuff. So, here's an example. We still play the same pattern, the same sticking, and we need to count in eight notes right now. So eight notes sounds like one and two and three and four and. And what we try is to play an accent with the left wrist on the one and and also on the three and. So it sounds like this. Three, four, and one, and two, and three, and four, and one, and two, and three, and four, and all together. Three, four, one, and two, and three, and four, and one, and two, and three, and four, and slower. Four. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and bass drum three four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and Let's go.
I like that so much. <laughs> and the best thing about it, you always stay in the pocket. So that means nobody in the band turn around and say something negative because you always in the pocket. That's it for today. I hope you enjoyed it and I look forward to seeing you again next time. Wish you all the best. Have fun practicing. I'm out. Peace. Bye-bye.